Hello, in the Kepler 8 software and any version of the Sirius software, there is a very beautiful page designer feature. I have a, other videos that go into detail on using page designer. In this video, I and I have links to those at the end of this video, but in this video I want to make, I want to give you a, a shorter, briefer, right to the point video specifically on creating tables. How you add tables. For example, here's a chart wheel and on the right side I have a nice table here that includes various information like birth time accuracy etc um, and I've got a table of planet positions. Now these tables uh, and this specific arrangement of the chart wheel is not one of the defaults. Well we're not going to have a default wheel for every possible arrangement of tables because that it could be millions of uh, styles. So to get the wheel to look exactly the way you want to do it you want to get familiar with customizing and, and using Page Designer for making tables like this. So let me show it to you really quickly. Uh, I am in the Series 2.0 software. This will work the same way in the Kepler software. First of all, you right click and you have all these different wheel styles. Um, I'm assuming you're familiar with that already. I just want to talk about the customizing. And we go into the customizing and there are all kinds of things you can do right here like add asteroids and so on. But if you want to rearrange it and do something more dramatically different to the wheel, you go into the page designer. Let me drag this on to the visible part of what we're looking at. And for every wheel style, there's a landscape version and a portrait version of the wheel. So here's the portrait version, <clears throat> and here's the landscape version. And I added this table, and I changed this table. So in the upper right corner, it tells what's selected. We have one planet position table, um, which is the geocentric positions. That's this one. You'll notice when I put my cursor on this table, it puts the blue highlight over there to show that that's the one I'm referring to. When I put my cursor on this table, it's put a blue hi highlight on this technical lunation. So the geo table is checked. That's this one, and this is the Tech Loon Technical and Lunation table here. And to customize it, all you do is right click. Well, suppose I did not have this table. There, I unchecked it, it's gone. To add it, all you do is check. If I want another table, I'll just check another one. Now I've got another table, and I can drag it where I want it. And then to uh, to specify what you want in the table, you just right click on it. So let me un let me get rid of this one. I can get rid of it in two ways. I can uncheck it here. I can also right click and click remove table here. Do I want to remove it? Yes, it's gone. So you can add tables, remove them, and customize them just by right clicking. So here's all the information about this table. If I want the ascendant, I just check it. If I want the midheaven, I just check it. So it'll add, now it's made the table too high. What am I going to do about that? Maybe I'll drag this one down. I could shrink this one if I think it won't be too crowded. Um, I could change the font and make it smaller. So I can go to layout. You will see um, all these buttons and options. Here's my first column, my second column. I could add declination. Now I've got two uh, columns of information. I can go back here to no column and it's gone. And what I really want to show you is this tremendous capability to adjust things. So I can go to layout and let me drag this over here and let's make the table shorter. So here it says size of the entire table, wider, taller, shorter. So I click here is this fun or what? And I shrink my table. Oh, let's move it up a pinch. Here's up. Now what if I want to make this box a little bigger? Uh, that would be entire table size wider. So there we go. Um, that's made that wide. Or just the border. Maybe I don't want to make the entire table wider. Maybe I want to move only the border. 
I could move this back to make the table narrower. Now over here I can make just the border wider. So it's giving you, see how it's moving only the border. I click and it's moved only the border. So you have essentially complete control over everything. And here are the individual columns. What if I want to move the first column to the right? There's only one column. What if I want more space between the glyph and the information? I can click here and, the, oh, that's move the title to the right. I've got title selected. See, I'm moving that longitude. I, actually, I think it looks better here. That little title. Now I'll move the data to the right. And look at that. It's moving the data. You have complete control over the whole thing. Maybe I, I want to move the glyph to the right. Look at that. And if that's moving too much, there's a speed. I can move this to the left. And now each click will move it by a, by a smaller amount. In fact, if I move it all the way to the left, it moves it by a very, very tiny amount. You, can, you might say micro-adjust it. So you can set these columns exactly where you want them, uh, the border exactly the size you want it. It's pretty amazing. You can move uh, the data up and down. Let me show this to you. Like if I go to the title, and let's move the top. I'll click here. Oh, I've got it on micro adjust. You can't even see it. Let me put this higher. This is the edit speed every time I click. And look what it's doing. Still very subtle. Let me do it again. Look at this LONG period. I click to the left. It's moving up. Each time I click, it moves up. Maybe I say, oh, that's too high. Let me move it back down again. So that's, I have adjustment to vertical position title. And you can do the same thing to the data. So I wanted to just show you all this micro adjusting that you can do. I'll just cancel out of this because, uh, it's, you know, I don't know. I could have saved it either way. Um, so you select the items you want. You select how many columns you want, up to three columns. Suppose I want longitude and speed. I can these are now overlapping see it doesn't look good what are you going to do it, it's now overlapping well you can go to layout and move things around go to the individual columns go to the second column go to the data and move that to the right uh, oops now my speed is not over it go to the title move it to the right to wherever you want it now I'll click OK, and you can say, oops, now my box is not the perfect size. So you have complete control over all these things. Let me go back to Layout, and Border Only, and I'll move it to the right. I'll click several times. Looks good. Because no matter how perfect we could write the program to place everything exactly where you want it, your taste may be different. Maybe you want, you know, it up or down. This way you can adjust it exactly the way you want it. You can say, okay, that looks good. Click OK, click OK, and and there we have it. Um, actually, it's moved it very slightly to the left, but when I click OK, we'll get the actual final. We're still in a preview mode here. When we click OK, we'll see the final result. Um, or I, you know, I could also uh, right click if I decide, well, it's not quite what I thought I was getting. I can go back to layout and the width and let's make the, let's make it a little wider. There we go. Click OK. Click OK. And now it's looking better. So you just touch that up to the way you want it. And this table here, you'll notice it's got an interesting combination of things. You can right click on that table and see all the options. You can put the co at the polar ascent, all these different things, moon phase. You want the moon phase? There it is. Bonk. Done. Um, move it up. You can also, because I made I added another thing, it overlapped my company name. Uh, you can also move these things around just by dragging them. 
here. So you can drag them or you can right click and uh, move them around and, and also do all the other adjusting to exactly how big things are. Now I can click OK and OK and OK and I've got my customized wheel. Now as I look at the actual thing I think well you know I'd like to move that speed over a little bit. It's not uh, you know after you look at it and think about it let's just do it really quickly. Right? Click customize go to page designer. Takes a little few seconds to come up. There it is. I'll right click on it and I'm looking for the layout. Let me pull this over here and I want to take the title. Um, let's see, title for the individual columns. This is for the second column title. So I go to individual column, second, co second column, the title, move this to the right. There, that looks better because I realize now that I want this over here. So you may have to look at it for a few seconds. To, you know, there's a lot of things you can adjust. But if you just think about it, it's, it's the title at the top. And you can also just click and see what thing moved when you clicked on it to verify. Um, so you just click on it. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> We're back, and there it is. So you, you can really fine-tune that wheel to be exactly with the, inf the information that you want. Sometimes it's just for a particular situation. I had customized this wheel for the previous uh, video that I made where I wanted to have the sun and moon longitude to the second because I was talking about exactly where they are. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a table, put the planets on there of the sun and moon to the second, and the people watching the video will see it right away. I don't have to go to some other listing. It'll make my presentation smoother, more fun, and so I did it. You know, now I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, ah, you know, the speed's a little bit close. You could change the fonts, make them smaller. Anyway, you've got the idea. You have such complete control over, over this. Well, I wanted to make a video uh, just on table customizing so you realize how much fun and how easy it is and how much control you have over the exact appearance of the wheel and what's in the wheel. All right, my friends, I hope that was helpful. Take care. God bless. Namaste.